Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, what week is it? I haven't been counting. <laughs> I would say this is week 21, I think. Yeah, week number 21. And we're getting closer to summer, so that means summer salads and other the types of recipes like that. So for this week's video, I'm going to show you guys uh, what, what I actually... I think this is my second favorite salad. And, and the truth is, it's um, kind of similar to what you expect at Panera. So this is a little hashtag Panera at home recipe, I should say. So um, stick along with me and I'll show you how it's done. So in case you guys are unaware, this type of salad that I will be making today will be a seasonal green salad. So basically it's romaine, arugula, kale, radicchio, that's that red one in there, and then an onions and tomatoes and some cucumbers. How simple is that? And by the way, I went to Starbucks earlier, and you're going to start seeing more Starbucks cups throughout, throughout this entire year, so <laughs> I think I may have said this a while back, but in case you're new, then now you've had kind of an informal introduction. <laughs> all right, let's start with all these ingredients. All right, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting up and dicing the cucumber. So before I actually start with this dicing action, I want your guys' opinion. Are, is your cat afraid of cucumbers? That is, if you have a cat. Is your cat afraid of cucumbers? All right, poll answer is concluded, and now let's get on with the action. Okay, over here I have the chopped up cucumbers, tomatoes, and onions. And here's the mixing bowl. Ah. And we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, first up is the base ingredients, which is the romaine and the radicchio, and that is going in. looks so good. I'm going to go ahead and begin while that is settling I'm going to get the kale out. There it is. I'm going to go wash this real quickly. So here's our kale. I'm going to Add this in bit by bit. So I'm going to go ahead and tear some off for you. Make it nice and tiny. And kale's going to give it a bunch of more vitamins. And plus, I believe it's the best source of plant based calcium. So, assuming you add this. You're starting to become a vegan savage. There you go. I said it. I'm um, go ahead and smash this down. And next up is the arugula. Now I actually got this particular arugula like with a spinach blend in it. So here, this is the arugula and this is the spinach. I'm going to add a couple spinach leaves in there just to give it an extra kick. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and grab some arugula and then I'm going to go rinse that and then I'm going to put it in the salad. And then once the arugula is in there, it'll be time for the stuff that I chopped up earlier. Arugula is actually an herb. It's the only herb in this salad, by the way. And I believe some supermarkets are offering bouquets, which you can plant. So you can literally grow arugula in your backyard. Or balcony of your like apartment or condo. Whatever works. Restrictions and exclusions may apply. Alright. I got some arugula out of there. And I'm just going to go rinse that off real quickly. 
And in it goes. Ta-da! All right, all that is in there. I'm going to add some more spinach leaves in here. So just grab some. Look for any imperfections, of course. Of course, the imperfections are usually from the time it's been in our fridge. So I'm just looking for, there's an imperfection so that does not go in. This definitely won't go in. So I'm just going to look for imperfections. This recipe um, in the portions is meant for trio, but you can adjust the amounts accordingly to your liking. That is, if you're preparing for more or if you're preparing for less than that. I don't know how to adjust it for a solo or a single serve. Alright, there we go. There's that. And now we're ready for the rest of it. Alright, that was the onions. And now we're going to put the tomatoes in there. All the tomato slices. And last but not least, the cucumbers. Here goes our cucumber that we diced up earlier. And now I'm going to grab some tongs and I'm going to toss this thing up. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is indeed mixed in nice and neat. And now it's time to add the dressing. The dressing for this one will be a balsamic vinaigrette. You can use any brand of vinaigrette that you want to. So I'm going to go ahead and shake it up. And we're going to go ahead and drizzle this over the salad a little bit. Three, two, one. All right, that is going to be enough vinaigrette for now. At least for this particular salad. And we just need to give this thing a final toss and it will be ready to be served. So, yeah, this will be fun. This will be so much fun. All right, there is our finished salad. Thank you guys so much for watching. Ing, this is a lovely salad right here. It's beautiful, isn't it? Anyways, you guys, um, that's it. Thanks for watching, and let's rule term of the week. The term is marinate. It means to flavor and moisturize tofu by soaking it into a liquid mixture of seasonings, which is the marinate in this case. Typically, the tofu is broken into chunks or pieces before putting them into the marinade. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys next week.